The Boeing 787 features one of the, in my opinion, most stunning wingspans in the aviation industry, maybe though tied with the up-and-coming 777X. However, what it is missing is winglets. Why is this? BBLA 51, turn right, heading 180. The Boeing 787 was introduced many years ago as a wide-body alternative for customers. It wasn't designed as a replacement specifically as it was a bit bigger and more advanced, but it gave customers a super efficient option other than that of the 777, and it also had the possibility of flying on long-haul routes. In addition, it also allowed customers an upgrade on the aging 757 and 767. And while not a natural born replacement, it being smaller than the 777 made it an option. What more could you ask for? Well, what about winglets? They've become a pre stock standard feature on aircraft, so why does the 787 not have them? The Boeing 787 Dreamliner uses a totally different wingtip and overall wing design and that is known as a raked wingtip design. It increases the efficiency of the Boeing 787 overall. While your standard winglets certainly are used worldwide, they ultimately are not a great option. What Boeing has done with the 787 is a much better alternative. The 787's composite materials have also made it far easier for the aircraft manufacturer to implement such a design, which we have seen on multiple composite gliders in the past. Some wings that could honestly pass off on a regular jet, bar of course naturally the size and as well the lack of engines. You can look at the Boeing 787s and especially where the winglet should be as essentially a winglet that has been basically pushed down, or in other words, flattened. The rake almost looks like a winglet from certain angles but ultimately isn't your traditional winglet that we see on something like the 757 and or 767. By pushing the wingtip down, we see a bigger wingspan and therefore bigger mass being put into the aircraft and then in the form of lift, which sees induced drag reduced overall as well. For example, the drag from standard winglets is reduced anywhere from 3.5% to 4%, whereas the raked wingtip, it can be as much as 5.5%. Obviously, this is a better outcome for Boeing and customers overall. The Boeing 787 really was an absolute dream for Boeing when it came to the raked wingtips. It was a clean slate aircraft and therefore allowed Boeing to experiment with designs and more and to see where the future was headed, especially being noted in the form of wing designs and the wingtip. So for Boeing and their 787, they ultimately went to the drawing board and were able to understand that if they got rid of the said winglets we see on the likes of the 737 and so forth, they'd be able to minimize the effects of wingtip vortex without all the added weight that the aircraft faces, thanks to the added winglet and ultimately the structural support required for a winglet. Do you think though the 787 would have looked odd with winglets in place? Or do you believe the current rake design of the wing which has seen the winglet flattened, was the best course of action design-wise and also efficiency-wise for various customers. Feel free to let me know in the comment section below, and thank you very much for watching a different type of video on the channel. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to you joining me next time. Please take care and be safe.